234 times 251. In this case, we're dealing with three digits times three digits. Really, there's no limit to the number of digits you can deal with when multiplying like this, but we'll stop with the three by threes. Nothing really new here, except for a greater emphasis on being very organized and tidy. Otherwise, it's too easy to make mistakes in these big ones. So let's start off by lining it up like this. Now we have three digits on the bottom. We'll start the same way we did before, starting with the one. We recall that one times any number is just itself, so we can just write 234 here. Next, we'll deal with the five. But we note that this isn't just a five, it's the 10 spot. So really, it's a 50. And again, the easiest way to deal with this is to put a zero down here, and then we'll treat it as though we're just multiplying by five. So we're ready to go with the five. Five times four is 20. We'll mark the zero down and carry the two. Five times three is 15, and we add the carried two, or 17. We'll place the seven here and carry the one. Five times two equals 10, and we add the carried one, and we have 11. Next, let's deal with a two. But again, we note this isn't just a two, it's in the hundredth spot. So it's really a 200. And again, the easiest way to deal with this would be to acknowledge it with zeros. In this case, two zeros. So now we'll do it again with the two. Two times four equals eight. Two times three equals six, nothing to carry. Two times two equals four. So at this point, we have three answers. The first line is for 234 times one. The second line is for 234 times 50. And the third line is for 234 times 200. So as a final step, we'll add the three parts to get our final answer. Four plus zero plus zero equals four. Three plus zero plus zero equals three. Two plus seven plus eight equals 17. So we'll mark the seven and carry the one. One plus six equals seven plus our carried one is eight. And finally, one plus four equals five. So our final answer is 58,000 734.